Welcome everyone. This interesting question given to us is a circle with three line segments which are perpendicular to each other and having length 9, 4 and 3 cm. Exciting part is with this limited information we have to find the radius of circle. For same we'll discuss three different solutions. For our first solution, let's extend BC to meet the circle at point E. Now let's join AE here. AE is subtending an angle of 90 degree at the circumference. Thus AE is the diameter of the circle or passing through the center. Let's assume CE length is x cm. Now in this triangle ABC applying Pythagoras theorem, we will get 9 square plus 4 plus x square is AE square which is 2 times of radius. So here basically if we'll find the value of x we will solve it to get the radius of the circle to find value of x let's draw perpendicular bisector of chord ba and we know perpendicular bisector passes through the center of circle and as it is uh, bisector so this length will be 9 by 2 and 9 by 2 let's extend dc here to meet the circle at point f now if you look at this quadrilateral it has got three angles as 90 degree so it's a rectangle and thus this length here will be same as 9 by 2 cm now this particular chord it's passing through the center so this is diameter of the circle and we know that circle is symmetrical across its diameter and thus this mirror image of this length will be same as 9 by 2 and 3 cm Now with respect to circle if you'll see BE is a chord and DF is a chord they are intersecting at point C and thus applying intersecting chord theorem we will get BC times CE is DC times CF putting the values here BC is 4 cm CE is x which we have to find FC FC is 9 plus sorry 3 plus 9 that is 12 cm and cd is 3 cm simplifying it will get value of x as 9 cm putting this value of 9 here in the first equation will get 9 square plus 13 square is 2r square simplifying it will get value of r as square root of 62.5 cm or r is 7.91 cm and that's our answer let's check the second solution For the second solution we'll use the sine rule it states that when we have a triangle with a circle circumscribing it then the radius of the circumscribing circle can be found using this relation here so for that we have a upon sin a is equals to 2r now for sine rule let's first join bd here and join ad here so we have a triangle abd here on which we can apply sine rule So if we'll take this angle A here, we'll get BD upon sine A is 2R. So to find the value of R, basically we need to find value of BD, and we need to find value of sine A. For BD, let's consider this triangle BCD. It's a right angle triangle. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we will get BD length as 5 cm. So BD length is 5 cm. Now we need to find sine A. so this angle a is there we have to find sin a so if we'll consider this right angle triangle sin a will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse so basically we need to find the value of this perpendicular here for that this yellow triangle and this pink triangle they both are right angle triangle and these are vertically opposite angles and thus we can say these two triangles are similar to each other and the ratio of sides will be same as 9 is to 3 or 3 is to 1 so basically this length will be 3 and this will be 1 we are splitting this 4 cm in ratio 3 is to 1 now here this yellow triangle it's a right angle triangle applying pythagoras theorem we will get this length of hypotenuse as 3 root 10 cm and sin a that's perpendicular upon hypotenuse so it will be 3 upon 3 root 10 or sin a is 1 upon root 10 
putting these values here we'll get 5 upon 1 upon root 10 is 2r simplifying it we'll get r as 2.5 times of root 10 solving it we'll get r as 7.91 centimeter and that's our answer now let's check the third solution let's assume the radius of the circle is r centimeter and from point o let's drop a perpendicular on chord ab and by theorem we know that perpendicular from the center bisects the chord let's extend dc to meet oe at point f now this quadrilateral it has got three angles as 90 degree so it's a rectangle so we can say that cf length will be same as 4.5 and ef length will be same as 4 centimeter let's assume fo length as x centimeter now in this triangle aeo applying pythagoras theorem we'll get 4.5 square plus 4 plus x square is r square opening the bracket we'll get equation in this form now 20.25 and 16 that makes it 36.25 now we have got equation in two variables so we need one more equation to solve it for that let's consider the right angle triangle dfo now here applying pythagoras theorem we will get 3 plus 4.5 that is 7.5 square plus x square is r square so opening the bracket here 7.5 square is 56.25 now from this second equation let's subtract this first equation so when we subtract this first equation both the sides this lhs x square will get cancelled down and r square will get cancelled down so 56.25 minus 36.25 that is 20 and this is minus 8x that's 0 solving it will get value of x as 2.5 centimeter now putting this value of x in this equation 56.25 plus x square equals to r square so we'll get equation in this form solving it will get value of r as square root of 62.5 centimeter on simplification we'll get value of r as 7.91 centimeter and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed all the three solutions i will see you in next video Till then, tata, bye bye.